right so I hope this uh, this vlog works better than the last one this is by the way this this street is a classic Garmin um, nah, we don't need to use sort of mainish roads we can just come down here but that's all right because that's what adventure is all about uh, why break the habit of a lifetime eh Garmin um, yeah, I hope this uh, this video works because I've been having so many problems with the GoPro recently. It's been a real, real pain in the bum. Um, I found one kind of solution online, which is I'm hoping the reason uh, that this is working is that if you use the quick capture button, if you just like sort of press it from off, which is what the GoPro is for because it's an action cam, uh, that's what's apparently causing the issue and you have to turn the camera on first from the side button and then press record once it's on which I hope it works it's not the end of the world at least it's a fix for now but in the meantime GoPro don't seem to be doing anything about it this this problem has been around since I believe January um, so at the time of recording this this is <laughs> this is July so I'm pretty sure that software and firmware are not going to sort this so I don't know we'll see how it goes but yeah, it's a sunny day. I'm leaving a place in the sort of hills outside Budapest that I will not even begin to pronounce because I don't want to offend Hungarians. Lots of G's and Y's and Z's though. Um, it was... <sighs> oh, come on! Really? Really? No, I'm not going that way. I've not got the tyres for this. The bike feels heavy today. I'm going a different way. I'm just... <laughs> GoPro, sort yourself... Um, Garmin, sort yourself out. Jesus, technology is failing me. I'm not going that way. It's like, I just want to get to where I'm going. I've got a heavy bike. Well, I've not got a heavy bike. The bike is the same way it has been since I left. The stuff I've got on the bike is the same way it has been since I've left, and I've barely bought anything else, just a few clothes. But there are some days when you just feel a little bit fatigued, and I've been, I've had a grumpy couple of days because I came to the, to the mountains. Yes, recalculate. I came to the mountains, all these like sort of hills, um, high hills, low mountains, whatever you want to call them, outside Budapest to do some, so to do some hiking. I just wanted to get out into the, uh, all right, where should we go? Should we go, let's go this way. To do some hiking, I wanted to sort of do some hiking and get out and maybe camp in the woods, you know, I don't know. There was this really nice hotel and it had really nice grounds and it had a bowling alley and it had all kinds of great things. And then it just rained the whole time. I mean, look at the weather today. The weather is gorgeous. Yet yesterday it was foggy and wet and miserable all day, so I couldn't hike. And the hotel staff in the place I was staying in were just like grumpy and moody. And just generally, it was just a bit of a pants weekend. I didn't see anyone, I didn't do anything, I didn't experience anything. It was just, it was just rubbish. So I think it's days like that when you end up getting a little bit grumpy, get a little bit fatigued. I've got this pain in my, my left hand as well. I don't know where that's come from. Like my knuckles are really hurting. So yeah, I'm just a bit like Bleh, today. So yeah, that road over there, that's the last thing I want to do right now. It's my bloody trip and I don't want to go down that road. If I had knobblies on, because I mean, you could see how wet it was down there and muddy. If I had knobblies on and I just thought to myself, yeah, why not? You know, let's just, let's just go down a little random, there we go. Here we go. Oh, look ahead, Lex. I thought if we were going to go down some little random road, then yeah, why not? It's, uh, it's what the fun's all about, but I'm not in the mood for it today. I just, I don't want to go on the highway either because... God, really, I'm in nowhere now. Um, I don't want to go on the highway because the crosswinds were terrible uh, coming in. Really, really bad. Blowing me all over the place uh, a couple of times out of the lane as well, which, I mean, if there was someone else coming, geez, that would have been horrid. Um, and on the way to the Brechen, I, I looked on the sat nav and there seems to be a really nice, um, this seems to be the route. Just really nice, uh, I mean, oh, that's a nice view there. Really nice um, roads, just quiet roads. Oh, look at this, it's lovely. Just like this all the way. And that's what I want. I want just a nice easy ride today, listen to some tunes, have a chat with you guys, and just do it my way. Because yeah, last couple of days have been rubbish. But, right, let's get past that. 
on the way to Debrecen and I'm really looking forward to it because it seems to be sort of a cool uni town so hopefully uh, there'll be a nice energy and a nice vibe to it um, and then I'm saying goodbye to Hungary so I'm really upset about that because <laughs> this country's been spectacular one of the gems so far it really really has I I just didn't expect it to be so wonderful and from top to bottom and then center to all the way to the right I've absolutely loved it it's been incredible the Hungarians are wonderful people uh, the language isn't that too difficult to pick up to be honest I picked up a couple of words and phrases which was nice um, again so yeah I've loved it I've absolutely loved it and I'm gonna gonna be sad to miss it but but and here comes the kicker things are about to get exciting I've got a surprise for you guys I'll try and upload this video tonight so it's literally a daily update I've got a surprise for you guys next weekend which is going to be in Croyable I really hope you guys enjoy it and if there's ever been a time to subscribe to uh, Sprocket Square oh, that was the worst corner I've ever taken look at that oh just what even was that? Jada Jada second gear. What was that? Anybody's watching, post in the comments below. Absolutely just hose me down for that. Hose me down for that corner because I deserve it. That was disgusting. That was awful. Anyway, getting off the point again. We've got some really, really fun things coming. Um, next weekend, little surprise for you guys. I'll let you know more about it closer to the time. And then after that, going to be in Cluj for the Electric Castle Festival. Literally the greatest, biggest, baddest performers in electronic music and alternative music in Cluj in Romania 2017. I'm trying to work on a press pass to get backstage so that I can interview some amazing artists from some of the best labels in the world. If I can manage that, it is going to be a fantastic episode so do stay tuned for that and uh, then I've got my best friend's wedding which I'm best man for I'm super excited about that um, so just July July is gonna be fantastic it's gonna be we're gonna go some great places see some great things film some great episodes and then oh, Jesus is that a stop sign there I feel it's going slowly um, then we're going to go back into Bulgaria, into Varna, and hopefully catch the tail end of the summer on the east coast in there. Um, I don't know if we're going to go down to Sunny Beach, but, but Varna is supposed to be a really cool place for the summertime. So hopefully meet some more friends and some of the guys that I met in Budapest, in um, Sofia and Plovdiv when I was there, which will be great. So yeah, the next month is definitely going to pick up. Had a bit of a lull with 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 GoPro issues and with just me being a little bit grumpy and and getting sick and stuff like that but it doesn't matter onwards and upwards why is this guy so close behind me there's no need for it onwards and upwards and we're gonna have an awesome awesome summertime before that concludes the before that concludes the European section of this round the world trip then Europe is over and then onto the boat we go into Georgia um, sort of near east I believe it's called Georgia Azerbaijan or places like that and then we start to get into some serious adventure going into Turkmenistan Iran the UAE let this guy go in can I just say in Europe or just in general across Serbia and uh, a little bit in Bulgaria definitely in Hungary the tailgaters just if, if anybody doesn't ride a motorcycle and they're watching this video tailgating is essentially like getting a kitchen knife and putting it next to somebody's head about an inch away you're not going to kill them but if anything happens that wasn't planned or any unsuspected movements happened that person's gonna die and it would have been your fault that is what tailgating is like when you're riding a motorcycle especially when they see I've got all these bags and this much weight it's very it's very difficult to to manoeuvre like you were just free on a bike with no luggage crosswinds um, cracks in the road potholes in the road uh, small animals running into the road it's any kind of debris that just makes you do that just for a second 
and just makes you just flip on the brakes or maybe you just need to change direction ever so slightly if someone is tailgating you like inches away or they're right on the side there which is what people do loads of times when they want to get around you in the lane that will kill a biker that will just send me off especially on the highway when you're doing 110 that will just send me off and end my life and any other biker's life and i don't see why people do it because if you're right up behind someone's arse what does that mean does that mean you're going to get home any quicker no it doesn't just hang back give them a flash i've got mirrors i can see what's going on just give me a flash and i'll move over it's just ridiculous it happens all the bloody time um god in a bad mood today ain't i <laughs> i'm getting hit in the face a lot as well by things oh it was so disgusting yesterday I got hit in the face but I don't know what I think it must have been a moth of some description um, it was huge and I had yellow pus all over my screen and then when I took my lid off it was covered in larvae so I must have killed a mother I'm, you know it wasn't my fault I'm sorry I must have killed like a mother a mother moth or a mother butterfly or something I don't know what it was and it was full of larvae and it was just all over my my helmet and in the air vents and everything it was absolutely minging I don't think I'm going the right way, by the way. I really don't. There was no train tracks on the map. Ah, never mind. All right then, well, I'm gonna go because I'm just talking random moody banter today. So um, yeah, hopefully we'll have a good ride to the bridge and, and I'll diary cam this evening for you guys. And hopefully my beautiful, beautiful GS is gonna get me in better spirits today. And uh, we're gonna have a nice Sunday ride with some tunes. So take it easy, catch you later. So it was a good day's ride, the bike, just riding the bike just always sorts me out, always lifts my spirits, so I feel a lot better now that I've had a good ride. I'm in Debrecen and it's really nice, it's really quiet because it's Sunday, um, but I'm hoping to go out tomorrow and explore. Just going to head out to the pub uh, downstairs this evening and have something to eat and some, uh, some beers. Filming on my trusty session, which hasn't let me down yet, unfortunately the Hero 5, after the first uh, part of the vlog, did give up the ghost so I had another three or four clips which haven't come out with audio so yeah I might have to take some executive decisions and and bin it and then uh, and try and maybe get a session I think the new session you can put mics on don't know if that's got the same problem I'll get on to GoPro but as I'm riding around the world I don't see how I'm going to get another one sent to me or or I don't know we'll see that maybe by some miracle we can get it sorted but it's really up it's really upsetting because there's quite a few vlogs now that I've lost and you know I, I really I really try hard to make them good and I really you know when you when you when you're trying to make something work and you're you know really putting the effort in to, to try and make some good clips when you just lose them for no reason especially when it worked perfectly in Greece for a whole month I haven't changed anything nothing it's just decided to stop working it's just really annoying and it's just really 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 bugging me but I suppose looking at the good and the bad we'll get some more diary cam stuff so if you like if you don't want to see my ugly mug, uh, my ugly mug let me know and then I'll stop doing it but if you do maybe maybe we can do some more diary stuff but yeah we've got some good things coming up next weekend is going to be super exciting so stay tuned for that click subscribe and uh, I think I think yeah I think you'll enjoy it if you're into bikes and you're into BMWs and you're enjoying next weekend and then, yeah, then I'm looking forward to, to July in Romania. So hope you guys are having a great Sunday wherever you are. Friends and family, I miss you loads. And to all my new subscribers, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for all your comments below as well. Have had comments from people in the US, from India, from Germany. I really, really appreciate it. And, and when I hear your positive comments and, and words of encouragement, it really, really does make me feel better and, uh, and motivate me. So thank you once again for that. So happy Sunday wherever you are and catch you soon. Ciao.